Hi Leo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So, uh, you know, it's always somebody's reading, not always everyone's. If it doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days, watch a new reading, or look around on Mondays because the style of reading is different every week. So, I do a love reading, a pick a card reading on Mondays. I've also, in August, uh, put up a four-month predictive reading, if you haven't seen that one. And I thank everybody for their support. I love you. I think of you every single day and send you positive energy. We are connected, so we'll stay that way, shall we? And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What advice do you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Leo need to know, please? Okay. Messages do you have for Leo, please? All right. So we'll begin here with a tarot reading. Then we'll have the Angel Answers Oracle card readings as well. You've got the Queen of Cups, the Magician. The Nine of Wands, the Tower. Let me just straighten those out. The Emperor, the Page of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Well, I feel like you're taking control of a situation, okay? I do. I feel like there's something about that tower that you're initiating, or it could be something with money where you're taking, I just get that, you're taking control of a situation. As soon as the Emperor, right after the Tower came out, it's, you know, the tower brings in big changes, but they're changes for the better. I feel like because of the, you know, the dark shadowy aspects in the card, we sometimes pigeonhole that into it's going to be painful. I do say, though, let go or be dragged with that card because it, we've already put the action into motion with the energies already out there and moving. We go with it. OK, so um, I do like to see the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups and Queen of Pentacles. We have a three queen reading here. So the Queen of, of Cups here, this can be um, a, a card of psychic energy for some of you. I definitely get that with the Magician showing up here too. It's like having the um, that portal be opened, allowing yourself to receive messages. For somebody here, I feel like you have clear audience, and maybe you don't know that's what it is, um, but I definitely hear that. I, it's like somebody's got got a gift here that maybe you haven't fully honed. Enjoy it. Don't hide from it. I did that for too many years. And so I find that it's much more beneficial to just be open to it. But for others of you, there is definitely a loving energy here. You've got it multiple times. It's like the feminine aspects are all over this reading, but it's blended with the emperor and the magician, which is even cooler. And so I definitely feel like you're going into a harmonious place you are changing some things. There is going to be some upheaval, but I, I do feel like you've got balancing energies around you. So for some of you, if it's in a relationship, you've got love, passion, and long-term commitment here. There's stability here. So if there's something around you that's changing, like a job or it's a relationship where there's a money issue and it's like putting your foot down about money it has to do with the tower, um, there's something about that. I just can't get over it for some reason. So with the queen of cups, you know, there, like I said, there is a loving energy. So if it's just you and you're saying, well, what am I attracting in terms of a relationship? Someone who's going to be very understanding. How's that? So the magician comes in and I, God, I love the magician in any reading. I don't care what it is, what position it's always being empowered. The magician, it's like magic, but it's CK. He doesn't create illusions. He gets rid of them so you can see exactly what you need to do next. Um, it's it's focus. It's concentration. He's all about initiating action, too. This is not a sitting still kind of energy. You've got a powerful action energy throughout the reading. And with the magician, though, you bring heaven to earth. This is thoughts becoming things. You get what you are, right? We get what we are, not what we desire. And so this is all about being it. You are being it. You are a human being. You're it right now. The universe is running through you. So in terms of a relationship, it's your heart's desire showing up. And I do feel like that 
the the comment I made, made a minute ago about attracting somebody who's very understanding, I feel like that's important right now for you. Um, so with the nine of wands, he doesn't give up. You know, you've got a conquering spirit. You keep moving forward. You stay committed and you learn from mistakes. And so with, and you learn from the past. Sometimes we don't want to say that they're mistakes. It's just part of a process. You learn from the process. And I feel like too, you're understanding that you are in the process. He's got a bit of a, you know, there's, there's a bit of a sadness here, right? Like he's been battered and beaten around, but he's built up from it. And so as he looks out, he's able to see what to do next. And so again, I feel like your past experiences are really a, a helpful guide in relationships. And again, it does feel like it's a money-related issue. I do see somebody flipping a house, if that's what this is about. Um, and it's gotten maybe out of hand with, like you're starting to see the profits fade. I do, again, I, you're putting the brakes on something and it feels financial. Um, so, you know, again, the tower brings in big sudden changes, but it's a wake-up call. And it's important. It's that breakdown for a breakthrough. The universe will never leave you stranded. Okay, it is the, you know, progressive or Geico coming to your rescue. Have you ever seen that Geico commercial where the lizard screams, I've got a flat tire. That happened to my daughter a couple months ago and she called me. And anyway, my son was like, oh my God, that sounds just like her. Anyway, um, I, but it was on the highway on an, on, an, um, on an exit ramp. So it wasn't a good spot. But either way, I do feel like you've got the universe to the rescue here. We, we get easy when we get this energy because it always makes me think of Carl Jung, what you resist persists. So if you fight this, the, the turmoil continues. It's like you allow it to happen. Now, I also, like I said earlier, I almost feel like you're initiating this. It's that corporate raider. And some of you, it, again, it's a financial thing. It may be, have to do with a relationship as well. If you see that as becoming a barrier in a relationship, you won't leave it unturned. You'll, you'll take care of it. Now, the tower is a an unstable tower. It's an unsafe tower. So we want to take that down. And, that, and in its place, you know what comes next? A beautiful castle. We should design a deck, an oracle card deck, and have that be the next card. It's a beautiful castle. Now, in the actual deck, it's the star. And so either way, it's like something better is coming for you. There's no doubt about that. With the emperor here... <clears throat> You've got the wealth card. So when we start to see this stuff together, you know, it's a passionate energy. It's an energy of being upwardly mobile, making advances, making gains. No doubt about it. So the emperor is the architect of the universe. You're designing your own destiny here. There's nothing out of your control here. The emperor calls the shots, but he uses reason too. And again, I feel like that tower moment is initiated through reason where you can really see just using your own intellectual capabilities this is going in a bad direction or this needs to be changed and i'm going to get control of it all right he's order he's evaluation so it's not an impulsive energy it's like you sit back you evaluate you analyze and then you'd make all the right moves to correct the situation but also make it flourish the emperor is wealthy beyond measure he gets what he wants. He has a beautiful relationship. There's nothing lacking here, okay? It's a very empowered, wise energy. He's also protected in that throne. And so with this energy, um, you are you are also being guided too with that little tiny pool of water. That's the seat of the soul. You're still being divinely guided in this energy. So with the Page of Swords here, pages are about optimism. They're about curiosity. He does have a bit of a protective energy. He looks behind him. I think it has to do with the emperor. That's what I feel like. It has to do with that evaluative property where you're looking around, you're taking in, you're taking notes and then taking action because you've got nothing sitting still here. It's about development, moving forward and building stability. So with the page of swords, it's a new energy coming in. And he's got a bit of a restlessness about him. So he's also communication. So we have to be a little bit of, not concerned, but aware of communicating in a way that is thorough enough, but it's not anything that would create problems, right? So we're cautious when we see him just a bit because he's not as empowered as like, he's not as good of a communicator as the uh, king or queen. He's just, a, he can kind of leave out details and stuff like that. But that's your guidance. So with the Queen of Pentacles, 
you're bringing in new developments. I, we talked about that, that tower gets released to build the castle. Here's the castle coming in. She's long-term stability. And if it's, if it's anything too to do with the physical body, the pentacles rule that as well. She brings in love. She brings in strength. She brings in attention to detail as we just talked about that. And so you'll have that will be part of your facility to manage those areas, to make improvements. She, like I said, she's very detail oriented. So you may find any changes you make are going to be meticulous. You're going to have this orderly perspective that you might even surprise yourself with. But again, I do feel like in a relationship, it strengthens things. It's building things up. So the Queen of Wands brings in the passion. And for some of you, this change that you're making has to do with this passionate energy. She doesn't sit still. She she makes um, she, she takes action. She moves forward. And so in a relationship too, that may be something that's very sexy to the person you're with where they see that as, uh, it's, it's exciting for them. It's also a card of loyalty, trust, initiation. And so it's an important energy whenever you're making a change to have you and your own energy here. And again, I don't feel like you have resistance to it. I feel like the people around you will not only be supportive, but I almost feel like they're going to kind of sit back and allow you to do it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know that they won't be helpful, but I feel like if you're somebody, you really know what I'm talking about. You're saying, I need to take charge of this. I feel like they will pay, basically give you free will, free reign um, to do what you think needs to be done. So let's see here. Taking command, Leo. And there's nothing wrong with it. So especially too, some of you, if it's something with work, you may get some kind of a promotion or find that you're elevated in a positive way with this. Um, so they've got golden opportunity, okay? So whatever it is that you're doing, you know, we want the universe to still be our guide and not get too full of our own free will. However, there is action. That meditation is going to be important. You've got forgiveness. I feel like that's related to that nine of wands. Ask for help from others. So again, that may you may have to involve people a little bit more th than your energy might want to within the next few weeks. You know, you've got to choose a new direction. I have, I feel like it has to do with maybe delegating or giving people some ownership. So maybe consider that because the universe will be your guide. But again, we don't want to completely take over because sometimes that allows um, codependence. It opens the door for it. But you, you're making gains here, Leo. Good things are on the way. I love you and I'll be back again soon.